I just put some Bongella on an ulcer. We got our Tesco delivery last night at midnight. It was worth waiting up for. Finally got some food in the house. I get to eat something other than crackers. <laughs> We got this in our order. It was a substitution. It's not the, it's not the normal one we usually get. But have you seen on it, on it in letters, obviously letters, it says up to 100% flake free. Up to 100% flake free. So up to. So anywhere between naught and 100. Bongella really does work. The way it works is it concentrates all the pain you're going to feel in the next couple of hours into a few seconds. We've got some biscuits in our in our Tesco order. Nice. No, not nice biscuits, they were digestives. They want you to think that this shampoo will remove all the flakes from your hair, but what this is actually telling you is this shampoo will most likely leave flakes in your hair. Potentially all of them. There was a couple of things missing. I, I mean, you expect to be... Uh, right now there'd be some things missing and it's fine that's fine like the, but when I mean, they didn't have any pasta no pasta apparently like any substance mud gravy your hair would still be up to 100% flake free if you washed it in a bucket of flakes the biscuit packets they've got the little tab thing that you you tear off to to open the packet really easily it's quite clever you know it's a good idea but they're always about four biscuits down. So as soon as you open the packet of biscuits, you're going to eat four biscuits. If you don't deliver the pasta, don't deliver the pasta sauce. I've seen the adverts as well. Have you seen the adverts? They say it's clinically proven. You don't need to, a clinic, an expensive clinic, to prove that something is between naught and 100%. Just look in a dictionary. Turn to the page where it says gullible. We've got some toilet paper delivered as well, which is good. Because for some reason, the kids, when they go in there, they just use it all up. There's a, there's a whole roll sat on top of the toilet. And, and you, you go in after they've been in there and it's gone. Obviously, they, they do it because so that the, the people eat their biscuits quicker. You, as soon as you open it, you've got four biscuits down. Which is a packet like this, it's like a third of the packet. You don't need pasta sauce when there's no pasta. <laughs> so I found the toilet roll halfway down the stairs before with, with the toilet paper was sort of strewn up behind it all the way back to the toilet like 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 we're living with the andrex puppy and of course now now i've got to use this shampoo because i haven't got we haven't got any other shampoo so i'm gonna have to use this shampoo and my hair at the moment is already completely flake free and using this shampoo according to their advertising their wording it's actually going to make flakes in my hair it's going to give me flakes in my hair because at the moment my hair is is, is 100 percent flake free but this shampoo says it can make your hair up to 100% flake free, so it's more likely to give me flakes than it is to take them away. What am I going to do with a, a big jar, a big jar, a fa big family jar of pasta sauce when I've got nothing to put it on? With a packet of biscuits, you've got two options. One, you just leave the packet of biscuits unopened until, until there's enough people, like four people, to share out the four biscuits that you have to get out of the packet. Or you, or, or you try to unwrap it from the top, pull apart the glued bits together and then in doing so just you want to get one biscuit out in doing so you you, you just you break the top biscuit and then you gotta eat two because you're not going to eat just one broken biscuit you're gonna have a we want a whole biscuit to dip in your tea classic clean classic clean what's classic clean i mean either your hair is clean or it's not it's classically clean what starts playing the violin they don't flush the toilet half the time so you can see that the, they haven't used that the whole roll isn't down the toilet so where is it I mean, some of it's down the stairs. Classical composers, in the, in the hundreds of years ago, when they didn't didn't bear to wash their hair, is that, is that what it's telling you? That, that, that your hair is going to be as clean as a as a, a 1700s classical composer, which is probably not that clean. It's going to sit in the cupboard till it goes out of date because you can't get pasta. <laughs> I've actually resorted to getting a, 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 a bread knife and just cutting the packet open like that, just where the one is. Make soup out of it. It would go with up to 100% flake free because the, your, your hair is more likely to have flakes in it, so it's more likely to be classically clean. 
There's all these all these classical composers walking around with flakes in their hair because they haven't got shampoo that, that will wash it out. Well, we have apparently, but it doesn't. It does, no, we haven't because it doesn't. Where else does it say? I th I think they might be eating it. Why would they eat toilet roll? Make soup out of dip bread in. Well, you can't get bread at the moment, can you? Zero <laughs> percent parabens, phosphates, and paraffins. I assume that's good. I mean, I can understand they would use slightly more because they're learning. But you know, you don't need the whole roll. We make our own bread. You can't get flour, can you? you can't get flour to make your own bread because you can't buy bread. I used to be able to read with my glasses on, but now I can't. So I have to do this. I look like a bloody idiot. I'm very well aware of how stupid I look when I do this. We used to wipe their bums, obviously. And now that now they're just a little bit, a little bit older, we we don't do it as much. Still do it sometimes, but you know when they need it, when it's a particularly disastrous poo. Derma and pure formula. A pure formula, really? There's no chemicals in this? Really? When we could get flour, you couldn't get yeast. Most of the time they do it themselves, which is good. Don't want to deal with poo, thank you very much. It's enough to deal with at the moment, I don't want to deal with poo as well. But they just use up rolls and rolls of toilet paper. And they've only got small bottoms, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. The research validated by the British Skin Foundation. That's fine. I'm sure the British Skin Foundation are a good organisation. I don't know much about them, but but of course it's verified. I could verify it. Up to 100% flake free. Up there you go. Verified. This shampoo is definitely would definitely make your hair up to 100% flake free. I mean, I mean, this Spider-Man figure would make your hair up to 100% flake free. Fine if you couldn't get flour and yeast for a while. But one moment you can't get flour, one moment you can't get yeast, you can't make bread. And they can't buy bread, maybe they can't make bread because they haven't got flour or yeast. But it's just... It's, 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 it's wash my hair in a Spider-Man figure, shall I? That's just... that That's stupid. Doing that is stupid. Saying that is frankly misleading. How do you teach a child to wipe their bottom? I mean, what we've told them... And when, you know, we wipe, but I'm not going to show them on mine, am I? And they can't see their own, so you can't see what you're doing. I can understand what 100% flake free is. No flakes. But what is like 5% flake free? So you've got 95% flakes. Does that mean, if you've got if you've got 100% flakes, does that mean your hair is all flakes? When you wipe a kid's bum, sorry for talking about this, but it's on my mind at the moment. When you wipe a kid's bum, Sometimes you wipe and it doesn't all come off and you've got to get a, wet the tissue a bit and just just make sure it's all clean, you know. And when you have children and you, you do that, you, you realise that... Am I getting my bum completely clean with toilet paper? What is 100% flake? And then the biscuits go off, don't they? The top one just goes a little bit, a little bit soft. Not off, just, just soft, not as nice. So, so when you go back to the packet and you, you want to have a biscuit, you, you pull out the soft one and you know, oh, I'm, I'm not going to eat that on its own because I want a nice one. So you have two again. I mean, the answer, obviously, is to get a biscuit barrel, a nice biscuit barrel. And you open the packet and just pull them all in and you take, take one. That's actually a good idea, isn't it? I'll do that. Fight dandruff before it shows. If it fights dandruff before it shows, how do you know that it's fighting dandruff? I don't know about you. I mean, I, I, I was taught by my mum how to wipe my bum. They taught, you know, same thing she told me. You, you wipe until there's nothing on the paper, yeah? Is that is that how everyone does it? You wipe until there's nothing on the paper, so you know it's clean. But I, what if it's dry and it's not coming off? I mean, it shouldn't be dry because I, I'm not like, I, like kids. I don't, I don't just let it sit there. Since since I've done it, I'll, I, you know. But you, you, you start to wonder. Have I got poo on my bum? And I don't know it. It's good for you because it's pH balanced. It's good for the planet because it's made with 25% recycled plastic. 25%? So 75% of this is not recycled plastic. Three quarters of this bottle is not recycled. And that's good for the planet? Is it good for the planet? I mean, it's better than 100%, but it's still 75%. Or well, maybe it's up to 75%. 
here's the small print. Up to 100% visible flakes from a distance of two feet. So not even up to 100% flake free. Up to 100% visible flakes from two feet. Yes, this mug has my face on it. Happy 50th birthday, Phil. From my sister. Thank you, sister. More on the plastic. It says 25% of the plastic used to make this bottle, excluding the cap, is recycled. So not even it only is this 75% not recycled. This, I can't get it off. This, this bit doesn't, isn't recycled at all. So as a whole, it's less, it's, it's less than 25% recycled. I only one or two. But I opened the packet, didn't I? And I got four. I'm drinking out of my own head. I wouldn't be surprised if we need flakes in, in the environment to make it a better place. We don't need pasta sauce if you haven't delivered the pasta, do we? It's really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't, I'm, I don't want to get sued. I'm not saying the shampoo doesn't clean your hair. I've, I've used it in the past and it does clean your hair. It does. And I haven't had flakes, so I don't know whether the, the, it removes the flakes or not. So I can't really quote on that. But I'm, all I'm talking about is their wording, which is frankly ridiculous. <laughs> really hot. <laughs> It is really hot. <laughs> I mean, they're not lying. It's not a lie. They're just they're just mis misleading people. I don't know whether they're misleading people on purpose. Oh yeah, there they are. They're misleading on people on purpose, aren't they? They're misleading people on purpose. And the, even, the, even the barcode is is a lie. While I'm here, and while I've got four biscuits, I'm just going to show you the trick that I used to do when I was at college. And I can still do it with this biscuit. It's probably a bit big, actually. It's very sunny today. It's actually quite hot. I'm actually actually quite hot sitting in here. Maybe it's raining. Maybe it's up to 100% raining. It is actually. Is that it's actually up to 100% raining right now. A lot of people out there from my college will remember that. And <coughs> hopefully be laughing now. The rest of you. I'm probably eating a biscuit. I am up to 100% not angry. Pasta sauce. Without pasta. Is soup.